Hey baddies, this is your girl Bevy with Hair Scripts. On this channel, I talk about the science of hair growth and hair loss. They're not the same, so stop using them interchangeably. So a lot of my videos are coming from questions that a lot of my baddies are leaving in the comments. And today's question and today's topic is about DHT blockers. And this baddie asked, what do you think about DHT? That I guess she meant DHT, DHT blockers from DHT Trichology. Now, I went to go look for the brand. I honestly couldn't find the brand but I decided that I was gonna talk about DHT blockers in general, okay? And hopefully this will roundabout answer your question. So long story short, what are DHT blockers? So DHT or dihydrotestosterone is a derivative of testosterone. It is essential for men for their sexual hormones and for their sexual development, right? But of course, male and female both carry these hormones. So, you know, men also have estrogen, just like women also have testosterone. Now, depending on how balanced you may or may not be, some of us may have more testosterone than others. Back in 2019, when I was diagnosed with androgenic alopecia, I had extremely high testosterone and high DHT levels. And the problem with DHT, while it is positive for male formation and male reproduction and all of those things, it has a side effect, which is a negative effect on your hair follicles. It causes something called miniaturization. Miniaturization of your hair follicle is pretty simple. It's taking a follicle and it's making it smaller and smaller and smaller over time. So what that means to you is when you have good follicle sizes, that means you have thicker, fuller, denser hair. As your follicles miniaturize, two things happen, right? The first thing, it's a slow death essentially, but the first thing is it starts to cause your hair to thin, which means you're gonna shed significant amount of hair because now your follicles are too small to support thicker hair. So your hair is gonna get thinner and thinner and thinner over time. And eventually the follicle will literally just close up. It will scar. It's causing scarring to your hair follicles, causing that follicle to just get to scar completely to where you, have you seen anybody with a shiny bald head that's clean and sleek? That's because the DHT has gotten the best of them. No hair will ever grow out of that unless you try more invasive treatments and that's another topic for another day. All that to say that there's several different functions of a hair growth supplement. Hey baddies, it's your girl Bevy and I'm interrupting you really quickly because I have to ask this very important question. Why am I not at 100K subscribers yet? Let's keep it a buck. I'm giving you real content. I'm dropping game for free and I have loads of comments, okay? Loads of comments from my baddies saying that my content has helped them on their path to hair regrowth, okay? Effective hair regrowth. So please, okay, help a sister out. Start liking, okay, liking these videos to help me in the algorithm. Subscribe to this channel. Share this content with your friends that may or may not be honest about whether or not they need my help, okay? And most importantly, I'm dropping a hair growth serum very, very soon. Please click the link down in the description box, okay? And leave your information so that you can be the first to know. I'm about to turn the hair loss treatment, okay, space upside down on its head because the gatekeepers don't look like me and I'm about to fix that, okay? I'm looking out for your interests. I'm really helping you because I really care. This is my mission and I need your support. So that's all I had to say, okay, continue on. Real hair growth supplements are designed to vasodilate, which means, you know, widen your blood vessels to allow more blood to circulate to the hair follicle, causes oxygenation so that it can help kind of distribute and kind of carry nutrients to the follicles to feed the follicles, right? Real hair growth supplements are designed to truly stimulate hair growth. And one of the other things that they're designed to do is to block DHT. The reason why you wanna block DHT from working, right, is because if DHT just run its course and do what it wants to do, then for the most part, you're gonna have that slow follicle death, that slow follicle death or slow follicular death that can lead to real balding as opposed to just thinning hair, right? But it starts off as thin hair that gets thinner and thinner and thinner and eventually you go bald. Unfortunately, people like me who are diagnosed with androgenetic alopecia, one of the, the characteristics of androgenetic alopecia is thinning hair over time. And the best way to treat really what you're looking for when you're treating androgenetic alopecia is just how to slow this progression down, right? And still salvage the hair that's currently on your head and how to, you know, increase thickness and density, but that's relative, right? You're not gonna get the Pocahontas hair that you used to have yesterday 
a year, but how to make it fuller and thicker with what you currently have by vasodilation, right? By angiogenesis, by, you know, cell proliferation, right? And just a whole bunch of different strategies that I talk about throughout this entire channel. So this is the great time for me to plug in that you need to subscribe to this channel to learn all the scientific strategies for hair growth and how to treat and manage your hair loss, right? So that baddie asked me, what are my thoughts on DHT blockers? Well, let me just give you some data that I have here in my notes. So DHT blockers come in different forms. There's oral supplements, there's topical applications. For example, a lot of marketers and a lot of manufacturers are now including ingredients that are naturally DHT blockers on their products. So you can see a lot of serums, oils, shampoos with DHT blockers. Of course, there's supplements that contain DHT blockers in them that if you take them, they're going to, you know, block DHT. And of course, like I said, the benefits of DHT blockers are hair loss prevention. There are studies that shows that DHT blockers are going to slow down hair loss in men and women and then hair growth promotion, which is there's there's evidence that shows that it can help potential hair growth. Right. But mostly DHT blockers are not to help hair growth. They're mainly to slow down the progression of hair loss or hopefully to prevent hair loss altogether. So now just going into clinical data, because, you know, I like to give you guys receipts here. The effectiveness of DHT blockers for hair growth is still under some debate, but there's a few studies. So there's 2012 study that found that saw palmetto extract showed similar effectiveness to minoxidil for mild to moderate male pattern baldness. There's also a 2014 review that concluded that evidence for the effectiveness of saw palmetto in hair loss treatments is limited and further research is needed. And a 2015 study found that pumpkin seed oil had a comparable effect to finasteride, which is a prescription ingredient and it's a prescription DHT blocker on hair growth in men and male pattern baldness. So again, DHT blockers, the goal of it is to block this testosterone, not the testosterone, but this derivative of testosterone is to block DHT from causing miniaturization, AKA cell death. And the way I like to describe it is that DHT, they're like, there's just someone coming to suffocate the life out of the follicle, right? They're criminals and they're gonna kill the follicle until the follicle is, is gonna choke the life out the follicle until it dies. And so you wanna block them from having that effect. Of course, DHT blockers, blockers can be a little concerning, right? In men, because if they need DHT for different male reproduction or for kind of like their male development, you know, at what cost are you going to keep hair, but then block DHT from doing the other good things that it's going to do for a man. So DHT blockers for me personally, I would recommend more for a woman than I would for a man. So with that being said, what are some DHT blockers, which obviously I already mentioned, saw palmetto number one, right? One of the main ingredients that functions as a DHT blocker is saw palmetto. There's a lot of products on the market with saw palmetto in it, on it, or you can just take saw palmetto supplements. If you're taking a thousand supplements like me, I don't recommend just extracting individual supplements at this point, but something that has saw palmetto in it, I believe Nutrafol has it, Wellbell has it, I believe Hair Levy has it, I'm, I'm just quoting, don't quote me. Pumpkin seed oil, rosemary oil, biotin, which I don't think you should take biotin because biotin is something that you don't need a lot of. If you take a supplement for it, you're taking it in excess, is going to be peed out anyway and then it's going to just cause breakouts and co um, comedones on your face and possibly some issues on your scalp so just eat more protein and you'll get all the biotin that you need whether it's a plant-based protein or whether you eat eggs and meat you'll be fine other dht blockers i mentioned a few but of course i have to plug in my own is the hair the hair scripts medicated hair growth serum which does have dht blockers in them now keep in mind like i mentioned i recommend for women not men for specific reasons i don't want to block DHT from doing the good that it needs to do in men, but it doesn't really harm women per se. So that's why I say DHT blockers aren't for everyone. And that's why I, what I love about the hair scripts, medicated hair growth serums is that it is not a one formula fit all, right? This is customized, is created on demand. So they're not sitting in a warehouse somewhere waiting to be shipped. They are made on demand when you order them. And it is based on a scalp assessment and a review from a medical practitioner who will then customize the specific formula that is personalized to you. I think that should make that very, very clear. I don't want to overcomplicate things, but I did want to talk about DHT blockers. There is 100% of benefit to them. Yes, absolutely. DHT blocker is very effective in fighting against thinning hair and allowing your hair to get thicker because it's blocking DHT from choking the life out of your follicle and causing follicular death and causing you to 
to go bald. So I do recommend it 110% for women, men. I think there's other things on the market that will work wonders for you without causing the same harm. So anyway, that is that on that. Subscribe, do all that, do all that. Love you, bye.